for Arilahovic Memorial Tournament in Sarajevo. Boxed in the World Championships two years ago. Finished in 10th place, so won a couple of fights going out in the round before the quarterfinals. Boxed in the 2017 World Championships in Hamburg as well and the European Championships that year too. So decent experience for him. Axin doesn't have quite the same amount of experience, but he's a multiple national champion and he's been at this a good while. Won his first national senior title in 2011 when he was a young man. So 86 kilos we've got here. Hamori of Hungary in the red, Axin of Turkey in the blue. Our referee from Guatemala. So Amori with the height and probably the reach here. Axin of Turkey will look to explode out of that guard, out of that shell, and let his hands go. That's what I can glean from him after the first few seconds. He's got that guard in place, nice and tight. And they'll look to try and walk Hamori down. Hamori will need a jab. He'll need to try and keep this on the outside. That's what his natural advantages would suggest that he will want to do anyway. Looks for that big right hand there. Axin, he's got to get close enough to throw it. He was, he was too far out for it there. Right to the body from Hamori. He can't just walk in though, Axin. He's got to be a bit cleverer about it than that. Just tapping with the jab there, Hamori. Goes down to the body. He does tuck up well, though, Axin. There's not really anything to hit there at all. He's not offering any body. There again, he looks for that right hand. Blocked, though, by Hamori. Goes to the body there, Axin. Left followed by a right. I think the right might have sunk in. Tapping with the jab and then tries to find a gap to the body there, Hamori. He's thrown the majority of the punches in this round. A lot of them have hit gloves. He hasn't exactly been putting full power on everything, which is wise. You don't want to wear yourself out just beating up gloves. Left hand on the inside there from Axin. It's the first time he's managed to really get through to the head, I think. Having a bit more success as a round wears on here. The Turkish fighter, he's in blue. Trying to find the angle for the left hook there, Hamori. It's not easy, as I said, to find the target. The gloves just came up a little bit there from Axin, and Hamori went for the body, then tried the uppercut. Left hand there from Axin. Four out of the five judges going action in that round. I think that would be due to two or three cleanish looking punches he landed in the final minute. Hamori, as I said, did most of the punching, but for the most part hit forearms and gloves. 
Whereas Axin did have some success towards the end there. As I said, he tucks up well, he covers up nicely. But as you can see, there wasn't an awful lot that got through clean from him either. The fact that he's got that round, I think, will will favour him. I know that sounds like a stunningly obvious thing to say, but in two ways. Firstly, he's won the round with four out of the five judges. But secondly, Hamori is now going to have to be a bit more expansive, possibly. And that will give him some gaps to exploit, possibly. So into the second, Hamori Hungary in the red, Axe in Turkey in the blue. And you look at him there as he's kind of front on to us, as he was front on to us there, Axe in. Gloves up, elbows just clamped in by that rib cage. Head just dipped, chin down. There's nothing much on offer there. You've got to work for your openings if you're Hamori. Try and bring those gloves up. Or try and bring those elbows down. You've got to switch it up, body and head, body and head. Just keep working up and down, up and down. Mori just working around him. Axin picks his moments. Came out there with the right hand. There's still a lot of gloves being hit here by both of these two in round two. Right hand there from Axin. It didn't really land. The left hand got got the shoulder as well I think the more he just Steps around, acts in there. Good right hand to the body from Hamori. He's looking to be busy here, the Hungarian. He's looking to try and change the angle. He knows that he's got to, he's got to work for these openings. Sometimes, when you've got a fighter like this opposite you and Axin, it can be easy to settle into a rhythm of just beating up their gloves. Feels like you're getting something done when, in reality, you're not. Axin tries to climb into a left hand there. left to the body from Hamori. Mouth just hanging open a little bit there of Axin towards the end of the round here. Nice busy hands there from Hamori, but a good right hand comes back from Axin. And a good left air again from Axin. When he gets into that kind of mid-range and lets his hands go there, Hamori, Axin times that single shot well. Similar to the first round, I thought Hamori worked a little bit harder to try and find the angles, to try and find the gaps, but... We've got four cards in favour of Axin again there, so he has got a very significant advantage going into this final round. He leads 20 points to 18 with four of the judges, and the other judges got it the same, but in the opposite direction. It's been close. So into the final round, Hamori just goes to the body with the right hand there. He needs something huge in this final round now, and, and he'll know it. Left to the body from Hamori. <laughs> a 
Right to the body from Hamori again there. He felt that was a little bit low axing. I don't think it was. It was it's just on the top half of the belt line, which is absolutely fine. It is interesting to see a fighter like Axin see how he goes about this. Just covering up the way that he does. Doesn't look to avoid punches at all. He just blocks everything. Gloves, forearms, and then picks his moments. If it were to come up against a real strong puncher, I'd like to see if it works. Because punches into gloves, gloves then canning into the head. That can still have an effect. That can still have an effect. It can slow you down. It takes the gas out of the tank. And Hamori is a decent boxer, but he's not really a big puncher. And I think this is going to prove to be a frustrating defeat for him, Hamori, because he's thrown plenty. He stayed nice and busy. He's looked for the body. He's found it on a good few occasions. I think this is his best round of the fight so far, Hamori, but he's going to lose. And he's never been in any trouble. Neither of them have been. Neither one has really put a dent in the other one or hurt the other one. might sound like a bit of an uncharitable thing to say and I don't mean it to but fighting Axin is it's kind of like working out on a heavy bag that every now and again hits you back but it's effective he's not really thrown much in this final round the Turkish fighter though final 10 seconds and I think this is going to be a Hamori round it's should be his round almost everything that's been thrown has been thrown by him but due to the advantage that Axin had going into that final round it's not going to be enough because there's no way that he won that final round 27 Axin, I can see the spread of scores there. I can see that spread of scores. It wasn't really a very easy fight to score because you've got a fighter in Axin who throws so little. And a lot of the time it is quite difficult at ringside to work out exactly what has got through and what hasn't. But he's through to the next round. <laughs> 